Hey you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Whether you're here for the first time or you've been here before, I'm so happy that you're here. I have been talking about doing a full face of makeup and the reason that this is so special is that I have never done a full face of makeup on myself before. I wear lip color, mascara, and I do a little bit of eyebrow stuff every day. Other than that, I don't wear makeup. So right now I'm wearing zero makeup. I'm in a hotel room, I'm at a conference right now for work and it's funny, I've always wondered why people film in hotel rooms sitting on the floor in front of the bed a lot. And that's because that's where you can get the best lighting. I just learned. I had gone to Ulta and I picked up some wet and wild stuff. I didn't have like foundation, I didn't have primer, I didn't have setting spray, I didn't have a contour stick. So I bought those four things in wet and wild. And so I will show you what I use as I go through this. And I'm going to start with what I think is first. I do watch a lot of makeup videos, like get ready with me's and whatnot, and I just find it fascinating. It really is like doing art. I really need you guys. If you have suggestions, if you see something that I'm doing wrong or that might work better uh, for me or just in general, please let me know in the comments below. I am just gonna get started. This is Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer in Dewy. They had a matte one, but I always think of matte as being something that is more for oily skin and I have dry skin. I don't even really know how much to put on. It already looks like foundation. And then I'm just going to put it on my face. And I think I put that, put the primer like all the way everywhere, right? Oh, it looks very dewy. I like it. It's shimmery. I've been really into the shimmery lately. Okay. Next, I think that I need to put on the foundation. I have my beauty blender. I thought I would never use this. This was from the fall Fat Fit Fun Box, and I thought that this was gonna end up in a giveaway, but now that I'm doing this video, I'm keeping it. Am I supposed to wet this? I think this is supposed to be a little bit wet. I'm gonna go wet this. Now I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Finish Foundation. I don't know what skin tone I am really. I just know that I'm pasty pale, but I'm also not very pink. I've learned that to figure out what tone you are, you can look at the veins on the inside of your wrist, and if they're more purple, then you're a cool tone, and if they're more green, then you're a warm tone. Mine are mostly green, and then I have like one little purple one, so I think that that means that I'm ne neutral. I'm not sure. I need your guys' help. I went for pale warm color. Well, this one has like a little spatula, so should I just start spatulaing it? Is there instructions? How come this thing doesn't come with instructions? Ugh. Oh, maybe, am I supposed to do this? Is this when people do the, <laughs> the, no, but this goes all over my face, right? Because this is the foundation. This is what I'm supposed to do with it. I can feel it. This is right. See, what I feel like... And I think that this is way too pale. I think that this is not my color. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm <laughs> giving myself little punches in the face over and over right now. Oh gosh. <laughs> I really do. I think, do I need more? Okay, there's plenty up here. Yeah, this is, I am not as pale as I thought I was. What? This is, I'm turning into a ghost, look at me! Ah! Okay, I'm gonna have to fix, I can fix this, right, with a contour stick. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I told you this was gonna be a comedy! That's so funny. But next I have this concealer, which this is also too 
pale for me. I'm not as pale as I think I am, I think. This one is a really highly rated. This is Maybelline. This was, I bought this before I decided I was going to try to go cruelty free. I researched the highest rated concealer, the highest rated brow pencil before I was going to my brother's wedding because I just wanted to wear a little bit of makeup and that was a long time ago. So I've had this for over a year, but this is a really highly rated one. If you want an affordable concealer and you're not doing the cruelty free thing, I, I do recommend recommend this. I look so ridiculous. I'm gonna put a little bit, my teeth look yellower. I'm gonna put a little bit here. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get to the contouring stick to try to darken this. And I have this, I want to put a little more on this. Suit. I am breaking out. Okay. Next thing is I got this Wet n Wild Dual Ended Contour Stick, and this one is in medium tan, so this can darken me up. I I have hopes that this will save me. Do not follow this makeup tutorial, please. This is me needing you guys. I always see people put this here, here, here. I'm gonna put like extra, cause what am I doing to myself? I think that's. I'm gonna start with that, okay? Oh, look at that! Okay, is this where I would need a brush? That looks better, <laughs> looks better, right? So I think even this lighter one is darker than the... Oh, and then I'm, am I supposed to put some of the dark one right here? I definitely have a big nose, so I could use some snatching. Snatching my nose. I want to snatch my nose. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. I am currently. Oh, and do I go? I can't imagine doing this every day. Kudos to you if you do this every day. Okay, it's not looking so ridic ridiculous. It's still kind of ridiculous. Um, I need, I think I need a little bit more darkening. I feel like I'm just turning myself back into my own color. I'm gonna put a little bit more at my temples. A little bit more, like right here. I think that I would do better if I had some brushes. What? Look at how pale I still look. Wow. I think I need to move on. Let's check in here. I mean, despite it not being my color, I it feels like there's foundation on my face. And that's one of the reasons I just, I, I'm just so hypersensitive to the feeling of it. And that's one reason I never started to wear it. This is probably not nearly as much of a disaster as I feel like it is right now. I think that the next thing that people usually do is their eyeshadow. I have my Elemis bag from my Elemis winter collection from the FabFitFun sale. I'm gonna do eyeshadow first. And for that I'm gonna use this Real Her Playbook palette and I'm going to use this ColourPop uh, orangey color. And then we're all gonna laugh and it's gonna be so funny. Oh, see, look, this one comes with really, this is the Real Her Shadow Palette. That is what the front looks like. I got this in my first cause box, the fall 2018 cause box, and that was my favorite cause box that I had ever gotten. That was a good cause box. It also came with a brush. I'm supposed to start with a transition color in the crease. I'm gonna start with, do like a mauve look. I'm gonna start with that color. The transition color? I'm so confident. This is a really rigid brush. I think that I would want something that wasn't so rigid. Oh lordy, if you are still with me, you are a true friend. Oh, that wasn't supposed to... I had fallout, that's what that was, right? Oh my gosh, <laughs> is this... <laughs> I, feel, I'm, I feel nervous and scared. I'm gonna do smart, this dark one right here. I'm just gonna go for it. You know what, I have, I have gotten, oh wow, no, you guys, I am so amazed by you all. I'm so amazed by you all. I don't know, I'm, I'm just gonna plop colors, and then I'm gonna blend, and then I'm gonna pray. I know I see a lot of people put the darker colors out here. 
That's not even. Darker colors are harder. I'm gonna put creative. I'm gonna put creative on there too. I'm gonna put that on the inside here. I told you this was gonna be a comedy show. I'm getting frustrated. I'm getting frustrated. I'm getting frustrated and embarrassed. I'm gonna put fine up here. I think that this also this brush isn't very good. I am going to, I purchased this in the spirit of this video. And this is really cool because it is from Eco Tools, partnered with Glamour, and it is the girl project. Join the mu movement, hashtag my true beauty. And it says Empowered Women Empower Women with the launch of this limited edition brush collection and a $100,000 donation to Glamour's The Girl Project, our goal is to help unlock the potential of girls everywhere. And it had the clearance sticker of being $10. And it came, comes with five brushes. This one looks a lot softer. It looks like maybe I can blend a little bit better. And now I just really want to blend this mess together somehow. This feels so much nicer. I think that that brush isn't very good. The real her brush that came with the palette. Yeah, this is a better brush. I think that the colors got very powdery when I would try to use them. And I don't know if that is something that is usual. I look like I was punched in both of my eyes. I'm gonna do what I know how to do now, which is my eyebrows, eyelashes, and lips. So, I have my L'Oreal Brow Style Definer. This is the brow pencil that I got at the same time that I got this before I went to my brother's wedding. This is the Maybelline Concealer, Adri Wine Concealer, and this is the L'Oreal Brow, brow Style Definer. These are both not cruelty free, but they are excellent if you are not in, interested in being cruelty free. And here I go. This is how I do my brows. This I'm confident in. I was in Macy's once in my town where I live, and this woman stopped me and she was just really, really bored and she wanted to play. And so she played with my eyebrows and she told me how to do them. And she said that you just want want to actually go against the uh, growth of the hair and so this is all I do I just do that and that's it and this one has a spoolie on the other side and I brush it out and voila that's how I do my eyebrows and then I do the same thing obviously to the other one There we go. Oh, I never used the color pop. This was in my influencer best of 2019 box. That's gorgeous, right? Should I add some of this? I feel like it might make it look like I don't have two black eyes. This Eco Tools brush set also came with this little teeny brush. Maybe I can do something with it. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's so pretty. That real her palette can just move over. Look at all the glitter. Okay. <laughs> I like this one. I don't even know what that is supposed to be, but I just, I really did enjoy that color. I enjoyed changing up the brushes. I don't know how I feel about this palette. I also went to Sally's because Tati has been raving about the Collab mascara and I bought it. Here it is. Well, from what I read, Collab is a makeup line that a bunch of influencers came together and they made. She just loves this mascara. I am going to see if it's as awesome as she says. <laughs> Let me remind you too, I have my Holy Grail, Grail Mascara. It's the CoverGirl Super Sizer Fibers Mascara. Let's see if this blows it out of the water. Whoa, this is a huge spoolie. Would you look at that? It doesn't seem as big until you put it up to your eye. This is very good mascara. So far it doesn't seem like it's any better than CoverGirl Super Sizer Fibers, but I think that it's just as good. It 
So I just do the wiggle at the root and then bring to the top thing. And I often, when I put mascara in, I'll push it from the outer edge into the center because I want to get more... I think that, that I described it right. It's like I'll push from here in that way because I want to get more on the outer eyelashes and I feel like that really helps make that happen. This is a nice mascara. The eyes, I am gonna call the eyes done. They're done. I'm gonna do a glitter flip color. This is from the last Fat Fit Fun Bring Edit Sale box. This is the lip color that goes on and then you uh, push your lips together and then it's all glittery and sparkly and this is the rust colored one. And this should go really nicely with the color pop because this is also a little bit rust colored. It applies so nicely too. See if you can see the glitter. Look at those eyes. And now for the finishing touch. Photofocus Natural Finish Setting Spray by Wet n Wild. Shake well before I use. I do shake this, okay. I'm just like. Oh, it's got a nice spray to it. Well, don't open your eyes too soon. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I do know some things about other things as far as beauty is concerned. <laughs> I am not just a disaster artist, and I hope you had a wonderful day and that you enjoyed this video, even in the slightest, and I will see you later. Bye.